it's Andrea. I'm back with another Sew With Me for the Norfolk Floor Noir. We're on block number four. This kit, or this block of the month, comes from Annie's Kit Clubs. I'm an affiliate for them, so what that means for you is down below, I'm going to put my link to Annie's Kit Clubs. It'll get you 50% off just about all of their um, clubs the first month. Cancel any time. I can't remember how much this one is. But anyway, they got two different colorways to choose from. They, one's in purples and it's cheaper than this one. But this is the one we're making today. This block here. Two of them. Isn't this beautiful? Floor Noir is the um, fabric line. I've actually done a throw in it before and I wanted this quilt to go with. This quilt was designed using Riley Blake fabrics. This is Floor Noir Collection by My Mind's Eye for Riley Blake, designed by Wendy Shepard. All right, let's get started. Got all my cuts made already. First up, A and B. I'm making two blocks at one time, I remember. We're making two at a time, half square triangles here. So right sides together. And then we're gonna sew not corner to corner, but to the left and right of corner to corner. And of course, you're rooting and tooting this morning, Buffy. like she's raring to go, y'all. I'm in here a bit earlier than usual. It's Sunday as I'm going to go up tonight. Um, it's about... 10 till 2. Tonight's the first night of our week of Halloween movies festival. Me and the kids are doing. So I want to make sure I have everything done before our scheduled events start. I don't know what movie we're going to watch. Oh, I think we're going to watch Saw. First. I'm going to make some I have finally won her over to the spaghetti side with the Rayo's alberetta sauce, the spicy one. She loves it now. <laughs> and I'm so happy to come on it. So I'm making that for supper. And we've got leftover garlic bread we can have with it. And then we're going to pop some popcorn. And watch our scary movie. We're going to watch a scary movie every night for Halloween celebrations until Halloween. And then, of course, on Halloween, watch a scary movie, too. It's my block on the side. I'm making a scrappy crossroads, and I use that as leaders and enders. Okay, cut all these apart in between. Oh, that one needs another... you we have to square these up. Um, let's see. Uh, I don't get, I don't think we are squaring them out. So cut them apart. Um, press to the dark. Making hourglass units. We'll probably square them up afterwards. Let's see. Yeah, we're gonna square them up after we form our um, hourglasses. So to make. 
make an hourglass, take your half square and take your other half square and you're gonna put the black to the white. You should feel here that it's nested. Now, same thing again, two at a time. Now, hourglasses are ones that I have to use a square up ruler. I'm totally lost. It's more complicated than just squaring up a half square. If you don't have square up rulers, I would strongly suggest you invest in them. Strongly suggest. them through again. Amy's Kit Clubs, though, they have lots of, not just lots of them, they have lots of lots of cuts. They have quilt fabric subscriptions and pre-cuts. Um, and then if you're not even into quilting or you have other interests as well, they have crochet, they've got knit, they've got woodwork, they've got beadwork, they've got card work, they've got home decor, they've got general crafts, stem stuff, they've got kids stuff. All right, cut these apart again in between the stitch lines for an hourglass. That is literal perfection. That's a rare sighting in this sewing room. Just press them any which way but loose. Wow. I'm impressed with myself. Man, these are phenomenal. How did I do that? It's a Halloween week miracle. They're all perfect. I don't know about that one under the needle, but wow. All right, take it here. Let me get my square up. Square these up to two and a half. Put your lines of your square up ruler on your seams. And then you're just gonna, um, let me get this guy off so I can do this at the same time. Of course, it's not perfect. The quilting gods don't want me to get too cocky. They gotta bring me down to earth and remind me I am a mere mortal. All right. Now, line the lines up on the line and trim. Now this is one of those you can't just stick it in the corner and do it because then your points see how the black see how it comes to the points in the direct center if i was to just square this up on the side with a regular ruler this is why you have to have a square up or a doctorate degree in maths if you don't have a square up 
See if I just put it here on the corner and, and squared it up, it would be all uneven. If I had an extra block, I'd cut it wrong just to show you, but I don't. These is probably a good idea to press open <laughs> so you'll have a flatter seam. I didn't, so I have a big hump in the middle. If I would have pressed the seam open, it would lay flatter. Just see my square up ruler is just rocking and rolling on top of it. So it makes it more difficult for me to square it up correctly. actually never watched any of the Saw movies. I mean, I think I've seen bits and pieces of the first one, but horror is not really my jam. Look, you can see there I got off a little bit. See how there's more white than black in this tip? I, I messed that up. you won't see because it's going to be in a seam, so it's all right. I know, <laughs> I don't know if I've ever told y'all this story or not, but it involves Jigsaw, the character from Saw. When, um, before Stella was born, it was just me and Sam and my best friend, Kelly. We would go on vacation every year, all th the three of us. And I'm guessing he was like three. I don't know. Anyway, we went to this one place on vacation and it was a haunted house, but it was just three of us. So of course we weren't gonna take Sam through it. So I decided I wanted to go through it and, st and uh, Kelly sat with Sam. So I went by myself into this haunted house. <laughs> And I was the, it was the middle of the day. It was all inside, you know. I was the only person in the entire haunted house. And I have never been so scared in my entire freaking life. Kelly said she could hear me screaming through the whole building. And she said, wait for me. I walk into that thing, you know, and I'm by myself, like I said. And there's like, in one room you walk in, it was like a church. It looked like a church, right, with the pews and the altar. And sitting in one of the pews was an animatronic jigsaw guy. And he was sitting there and just like rocking his head back and forth. Looking to the sides, right? And I stop and I'm staring at him as he's looking back and forth. And then all of a sudden, he stops, and he's just looking at me with his head tilted. <laughs> he's just sitting there staring at me. And I was like, O-M-G. I mean, I literally said that just staring at him. And then he stood up. That's when I started screaming. And I screamed the entire haunted house. I ran 
and screamed through the entire rest of the haunted house. I was running 90 to nothing. And he would he was chasing me through the entire haunted house. Like he would disappear, I guess, and go to um, shortcuts. So I'd still be running and he would jump out at another spot in the haunted house. <laughs> chased me through the whole thing. And I screamed bloody murder. I must have made his day, I'm telling you what. I must have made his day. Okay, these are all squared up. Now we're going to take them and get C. And we're putting them on each side. And just make sure your black is facing like this. I don't remember anything about the rest of the haunted house except that. Because that was like at the very beginning this happened. And I ran faster than I've ran in my entire life. It's totally different when you're by yourself. It just really amps up the scare factor when there's no one there with you. Because I was thinking in my head, he could kill me for real. He could be a crazy person and kill me for real. Was the irrational thoughts going through my head. And no one would know, you know? That was definitely the best part of the house experience that I've ever had. It lasted about 30 seconds, but there you go. <laughs> I mean, I even ran out screaming. And people, when I ran out, there was like a little crowd kind of gathered there, and they were all dying laughing, waiting for me to come out. <laughs> Why don't I have enough of these? Make four. One, two, three, four. Okay, only four. Let me rip this one. Let me rip this one. Okay, the rest of them are going to be with D. One on each side. And this time they're gonna the hourglass is gonna face this way. We're just making two of these. This on the other side for the black. I'm pressing to the solid blocks, by the way. Is near the end.
So the answer to the age old question, fat or flat? I'm definitely a flat kind of gal. I run and scream. That's how I do every haunted house we go to. <laughs> and Sam is a Sam is a stop and fight reaction, and I'm the total opposite. I put these two together. I'm gonna center up the middle best I can. Press to the middle. I'm nervous about how it's going. This is a hard block. All these points begging to be bit off. And I shall oblige. This is a hard one. This is definitely an intermediate block. Just disgusted with myself. Looks horribly. And I've done everything I'm supposed to do. Best laid plans. Sometimes you do everything right and it still comes out. Wrong. points are the bane of my existence. Brother. Oh, brother. That's horrible. Look at that. What the crap is that? E on each side. <laughs> E on each side. Carry on, carry on. Nothing really matters to me. Anywhere the wind blows. That one's better. That one's better.
I'm in here, Pitbull. Oh my. What the crud? I give up. I don't even know why I try to get points because it's not in the cards for me in my life. There we go. Oh, okay, let's set those to the side. We're gonna take F and G. We're making gonna make a little sandwich. Press. I'm going to press to the striped fabric. Let me go change this button. Okay. Pooh's got the zoomies in there. I can hear him. Here he comes. What you doing, people? Take these back and it's, why do I, I never have enough, wait, why don't I have enough? I only have two left. F and G, I should have twice as much F's as I have G's. So let me see, eight F strips. And four E strips. I'm missing two E strips. I mean, I'm missing two F strips. Just a minute, I'm getting my fabric. Make it right. Okay. Let me get rid of this first. I don't know how I manage this, but y'all know I can do it. <laughs> Thank you. 
two more. He's averted. Pressing to the strap fabric again. Okay, take this. These are going to go on each side right here. Totally skip when we made those. Um, okay, we're making two at a timers. It's just not pictured, it is written. To the left and the right of the center. One more time. be 
sure and check that measurement. Okay, cut these down the middle. I'll press to the dark side. they're measuring uh, they're measuring correct so I'm gonna leave them all right K we got here K and J are sandwiching What in the world? What kind of cutting is that, you crazy woman? Obviously, my strip was small on one of them. I'm going to make it work with my witchy ways. I'm going to fix it with a seam allowance. So, it's just like an eighth of an inch. So, it, it'll be all right. This one's the same way. See, it's like an eighth of an inch off, but I'm sewing at a fourth of an inch. And you see where we got a real skinny allowance there? Oops. basically.
going to press to these stripes. of another good scary movie we could watch that's not bad is Cloverfield. Cloverfield 8 or whatever it's called. I think that would be a real good one for Stella to watch. Maybe Misery. I don't know if she would dig Misery though. It probably is too slow moving for a young mind. I think Misery is fantastic though. Maybe I can get her to watch it. And I was thinking maybe The Shining too with Jack Nicholson. I know there's the bathtub scene, but. That's all right, I think. This one, these two together. What? What's this measuring? It's measuring right. Maybe I do need to square these up. Close enough. Don't y'all agree? That's silly. That is not worth my time and effort on that skinny old thing. There we go. Gloves. I want to 
say this is like twenty-five a month. Something like that. And there's lots of fabric left, by the way. There, they give you plenty of fabric for mistakes. side make sure your triangles are oriented the set the right way I like that there's the finished one Trying to hide this from you. There we go. <laughs> you better what? So the model work, work it, girl. Do your thing. Runway work, work it, girl. back and these are going to go on the top and bottom like a little framed picture This is a really cute vlog. points just make me sick. I hate Jehovah. I hate you points. Oh my gosh, I hate them so much.
one more. One more. If anybody says anything about my point, I'm just going to say, it's supposed to be like that. Don't you know anything about quilting? supposed to be. What do you think? I think it's cute. Cute, cute, cute. Let's press the other one. Quit looking at me. <laughs> I was trying to see if I was in the camera. And I'm so in the camera looking a hot mess. Here we go. Very cute, isn't it? What do you guys think? Give me a thumbs up if you like the video. Subscribe if you like to watch Sew With Me. I'll see you at the next one.